What's up everyone, Danny Lina back with another video. Today we are checking out the Lamborghini Invincible. We are going to do a stage 6 maxed out shift and tune, a stage 5 shift and tune, a live racing setup, and we're going to do a review on the cars. So let's go ahead and start off with the maxed out stage 6 shift and tune, and this video is made possible by YouTuber Asho Speed the King. When you have this car 100% maxed out with all the fusions, nitrous all the way to the right, Final drive 2.0, tire pressure 8 psi, dyno 6.996. To drive this car when it's max, let go of the gas just a little bit before number one, try and launch right about 3000 RPMs, then go second, third, fourth nitrous and all the shifts right before the red line. Three, two, one, go second, third, fourth nitrous. And that's pretty much how you do it. It's kind of a weird car, but it's not too bad to drive. Play around with the RPM you launch at. That seems to what that seems to be what's really changing the time. Then we got a 6.933. Sometimes you get down to the 6.8. It's all about finding the right RPM to launch, and it's somewhere right around that 3,000 mark. All right, so that's how we do it when it's maxed out. Let's go ahead and fit this back to stage five parts only and do a stage five shift and tune. When you have all of stage five parts and all of the fusions installed, nitrous all the way to the right. Final drive 2.40, tire pressure 8 psi, dyno 9.229. To drive it on stage 5, let go of the gas right before number 1, try and launch about 3000 RPMs, shift into second, hit your nitrous, all the rest of the shifts right before the red line. 3, 2, 1, go, second nitrous. 3rd gear, 4th gear, 5th gear, 6th gear, and that's what seems to be giving me the best times on stage 5, running 9.0 something. So not a bad time, not a bad time at all. That time we got a 9.101, sometimes we are getting in the 9.0s. Alright, so is there a live racing setup? Well, this does have a low performance point high EVO live racing setup, but unfortunately to get the most out of it, it is going to require a couple of stage 6 parts. So fit your engine to stock, turbo to stock, intake stock, nitrous stage 3, body stage 6, tire stage 3, transmission stage 6. To tune it for live racing, put your nitrous all the way to the right. Final drive 3.80, tire pressure 8 psi, with a dyno of a 10.997, so that'll put us in the 11.0 lobby, and we don't want to run faster than 11.0 because we don't want to be put into like the 10.8 lobby. We want to stay in the 11.0 lobby where it can actually win. To drive it, we are just going to run a very standard shift pattern, pretty much let go of the gas right about number one. All the shifts right before the red line, nitrous on second. Three, two, one, go. Second, nitrous, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. And again, do not run faster than the lobby time. So right now we want to be like downshift, downshift. Now I didn't actually do it, but you do want to slow down because you do not. I repeat, you do not want to run faster than 11-0. So you do want to slow the car down to make sure that doesn't happen. Then we ran a 10.922. So there we have the stage five shift in tune, the stage six shift in tune, the live racing setup, and let's go ahead and do a little review on the car right about now. So this car will beat dyno time by just a little bit, but it's not a huge dyno beater. The top speed is around 400 miles per hour, so that's really good top speed. Zero to 60 in about 1.0, zero to 100 in about 1.4, so it's got pretty nice acceleration. And it's doing, what, 6.9, 6.8? Not too bad at all. So far, it seems like a really good car. It does have a live racing setup, but unfortunately, that live racing setup will, will require you to have a couple of stage 6 parts. You can do it without the stage 6 parts, but it's going to be a pretty hit and miss whether it wins live races without those stage 6 parts. My only complaint is I would like to see this car beat Dino by a little bit more, but it does beat Dino by a little bit. So all around, this is a really nice car. It's pretty decent at everything except for it's only a little bit of a Dino beater, but the top speed's good. The acceleration's good. It's got the live racing thing going if you have the correct parts for it. So all around, nice car, and I like it. And if this car sounds like something you would be interested in, it definitely seems like it might be worth upgrading. So... I think that's going to wrap this one up. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are amazing. 
don't forget to smash that like button. That would help me out big time. Maybe hit that subscribe button. If you drop down the video's description, you can see game news, my merch store, my Discord server, my YouTube channels, other ways to help support the channel, and all kinds of good stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are amazing. Lightning out. Have an awesome day. See ya.